Good day. I mean, good day, and welcome to the show. I'm offshore, snorkeling some of the most pristine waters in Australia and possibly in the world. And by offshore, I mean I'm 1,678 kilometres offshore. If you don't know where I am, that pine tree over my shoulder's got to be a clue. You ready? That's right, it's a Norfolk Island pine, which means I'm on Norfolk Island. Amazing on the land, but under the water, absolutely incredible. Just two hours flight from Sydney. A genuine paradise. Captain Cook called it that 230 years ago, and it still is. Got plenty to show you. While I'm having a swim under there with my friends, don't go away. Here's what's coming up on the rest of the show. You're gonna love it. Norfolk is a beautiful island, above and below the waterline. I've got to tell you, the water here that I'm snorkeling in, it's like swimming in liquid glass. It is probably some of the cleanest water that I've ever snorkeled or dived in anywhere in the world. This is Emily Bay, a stunning lagoon with coral and marine life to rival anything you'll see on a shore snorkel on the Great Barrier Reef. And I'm exploring it with four lovely Norfolk locals. One very important thing is to make sure you don't stand on the coral or kick the coral because it's very fragile. It takes about um, six years to grow a centimetre. The other thing we might come across out there is a local mermen. Mermen? Mermen. What about mermaids? Well, you've got four here, so you're <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> the lagoon's safe and swimmable all year round. And in case you're wondering, the protective outer reef means you're only swimming with the small fry. The green moon wrasse, which the locals call Slippery Dolly, oh, they're beautiful. I love them. Catfish creeping across the sandy bottom, the very inquisitive damselfish, and swirling around in its seaweed spa, the mottled moray eel. Did you see that moray eel? <laughs> He's shoving off really quickly. It's just incredible. I can't, I can't get enough. If you want to get all the facts and figures from a local expert and see the reef without getting wet, get your bum on the bench of Don's Glass Bottom Bay. Wow, everybody, look at that. Look at that down there. The reason you can see so many fish right now is that uh, they're conducting people to us. <laughs> Our skipper is Don Christian Reynolds, a seventh generation descendant of bounty mutineer Fletcher Christian. So, uh, if you're a Bly or a Bly descendant, you really should tell me now. <laughs> Don knows every piece of coral and every fish in the lagoon. There are more than a hundred species. And with the reef just half a metre beneath the boat, you don't get any closer without getting wet. Lord Howe Island and Norfolk Island are a couple of the southernmost points in the world that coral grows. And uh, we're fortunate enough that we have around about 20 to 22 degree temperatures here, which uh, corals thrive in. When it comes time to dry your snorkel and fins, check into the Governor's Lodge Resort Hotel and do some above water exploring in their tropical garden. How many resorts have you stayed in that have a cattle grid at the entrance? But I love it. The grid keeps the cattle out, which roam free on Norfolk. And they've got right of way, which you've got to remember when you're driving round. Your lodge at the Governor's has a queen bed and separate lounge and kitchen. Bailey's is where you eat. And if you want to get wet again, there's a nice resort pool. I 
and getting wet again. Back at Emily Bay. Cause those sea grapes look real good. Well, here it is. Seaweed, they call dead man's finger. They reckon you can eat this stuff. And it's really nutritious. Okay, here we go. <gasps> no, only kidding. <laughs> Not that bad, actually. Mm. Might go down and get a bit more of that for morning too. Norfolk Island is off the coast of New South Wales, and Air New Zealand can get you there. They fly from Sydney to Norfolk twice a week. To book, jump onto airnewzealand.com.au. And anything you want to know about visiting Norfolk, jump onto norfolkisland.com.au. If you guys are not on the phone to Air New Zealand or on their website in the next couple of minutes, you're nuts. You've got to do it. I'm going to give you 10 because this paradise, Norfolk Island, must be on your bucket list. It is a must that you come here and check this out. As I have shown you, the coral and the sea life in this lagoon alone is world class. And if you're not real confident in the water, get on the glass bottom boat. It is an amazing way to see all this sort of stuff. Absolute grand final for anything I've done on Sydney weekend. I hope you've enjoyed the show and I'll see you real soon on another Sydney weekender. Sorry, Mike, no sea grapes out there. Someone's been eating them. No sea grapes? No. Okay, Charlene, thanks. I found a couple. <laughs>